Discord and say, hello everyone, welcome to another fucking adventure. I'm here with Zenrot. And we're checking out Harry Potter for the Game Boy. Now, this is the most important decision. What language do we want it in? Portuguese? Portuguese Battle Royale? The answer <laughs> is... The Fortnite sequel? Yeah, the Fortnite sequel. Portuguese Battle Royale. We're going with English UK because this is Harry Potter. Yeah, it gets to be canon. If you're not canon, why even play video games? It's true. We only play with canon. A fine property of Warner Brothers, and I believe this is made by EA. <laughs> yep, there's the EA. The goddamn game. American Harry Potter. Damn right. Uh, and I'm going to say right now, this is the best Harry, Harry Potter. Jackson, as I like to call him. This is the best Harry Potter game. In probably the history. They're better than the uh, PlayStation 1 Harry Potter game? I don't think so. I mean, listen, you're going to have to, we're going to have to eventually uh, get down the line and play that. But let me just show you why this game is amazing. Look at this fucking Hagrid. Oh my god. Look at this fucking Harry Harry. looks like a fucking, like, uh, Beavis and Butthead sprite. He totally does. As you can see here, see there's a lot of fours. This is not something you'd get in the U.S. version of it. Mr. Oleander here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Oleander, you've seen better days. I want to say this is before the first movie, so they're not really... They look more like their book parts than they look like their movie parts. That's why these all these fucking dudes look like horrible monster men. Do kind of, though, don't they? Oh, here we go. Here's the real shit. Yeah, I can't pay for this. Hagrid has already given me the money. And now I have Harry's wand. Hagrid has given me all of the money. You received your wand. And now begins our long-ass journey. First of all, let me see if I can find... I think there's an item somewhere here if I look around. Let me just look around your shop, old man. Alright, fine. I guess I'll legit play the game now. I think this is mouth. No. Hey, aren't you Harry Potter? Well, you are, aren't you? You're here. That means you're going to Hogwarts. Does everybody know everything about me? Yes, Harry. Everyone knows. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the best part. There's a collectible card game in this game. Yes. I like how it's the first thing they teach you. Exactly. So choose your deck. Do we want the Justin Pillwickle deck? The Gulliver Pokeby deck? The Gregory the Smarmy deck? Or Merwin the Malicious deck? Obviously, uh, Gregory the Smarmy. Yeah, look at this Smarmy fuck. This Me deck piece looks... of shit. <laughs> this is also how I start every card game, is I look at a deck and say, oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> there we go. This guy's just giving me, because I'm famous, he's just giving me all the cards I need. This is the life of Harry Get Potter. richer. Damn right. So yeah, card combinations are like, you can use your cards um, to make spells during battle. Is so, so, this just sacred cards for Harry Potter? Yes, because look, because it's a GBA game, of course you can trade. Because actually trying to find these cards in where they came from is fucking impossible. All right. Now we're about to enter our first JRPG battle. By fighting... Oh, God, yeah. We're going to fight a bunch of rats. Eat shit rats. Why do I know Why do I know spells? I just got my wand of like a minute ago. Because the man in, who gave you the wand said, it comes with these spells pre-installed. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the fucked up thing about Harry Potter is that uh, in order to get better spells, you have to keep using the same spell over and over and over again. So it's like Final Fantasy 2, everyone's least favorite Final Fantasy game. Yes. Also, I just immediately entered a fight after going upwards by three seconds. It respawned on me. So this really is like a JRPG. <laughs> There's also a one boss, which is the troll, who is impossible to beat unless you have one spell that is um, only obtainable. Oh, yeah, I got a famous wizard and witch's card. Damn right. That is impossible to beat unless you specifically level up one move over and over and over again till it's max power. It's really annoying. It is. Like I said, this is a legit JRPG that they've crafted here. 
There's also no run button, because this was before they made run button. But look at me. I know exactly where to find all these damn cards. Let's take a look at our um, our cards real quick. So, yeah. We got Hesper Starkey. <laughs> we got Archbad Alderton. And then, who's down here? Who's our boy down here? That's right, we got Chauncey Oldridge. The first oh my known, god, Chauncey. The first known victim of the Dragonpox Pox. That's right. And then who's Does that really make him famous? Is, like, does that count? Apparently. Look just look at Roderick Plumpton. He holds ah, the British ah. record for the fastest capture of the snitch. Three and a half seconds. So that means that Quidditch started. And this asshole immediately caught it, and everyone was like, we've wasted our time, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone that bought a fucking ticket for that shit. $500 on these tickets. And we got Thaddeus Thurkel, famous for producing seven sons and turning them all into hedge. <laughs> this man had seven sons and turned them all into hedgehogs, and they made him a card. I don't think the criteria for being a legendary witch or wizard is apparently that high. No. And then we got Andros the, Invis the Invincible, alleged to have been the known wizard to produce the Patronus of giant size. So there you go. Those are the cards we got so far. And these are all the cards we can get. So look forward to that later down the road. As obviously we are going to 100% complete this game, right? See <laughs> of course. Oh, broom shop, nice. Yeah, so I should actually just go to Hagrid. I was gonna say, eh, maybe I should just like level up a bit, but I should be fine. If anything happens, I'll just go. I'll wake up in a shop. Something written on the door. Enter stranger, but take heed of what awaits the sin of greed. For those who do not take earn may pay dearly in their turn. This is really fucking intense for a bank. Uh, yeah, take it easy. Gringotts. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck you are, Gringotts. Alright, let me see. I think there's a card right here. No. No, I know where there's a card. There's a card. Come on. Yeah, right here. There has to be a card right here. Damn right. Just in case anyone was wondering, how does Wookiee remember this? I have a very dumb memory. Let's see who we got. Yeah, one of those memories where you don't remember anything important, but you do remember where the fuck cards are in Harry Potter. Yes. And we got Sriracha Tugwood discovered pimple curing properties of the Bubba Tuber plus. <laughs> and this woman got on alchemy. She also looks like, okay, let me go back to her. She looks like um, a the villain from the Super Mario Superstar Saga. Saga. Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh. Okay, she also kind of looks like Knights. She looks like a Sonic character as well. Which... This isn't a Sonic character, is it? Knight Knights has a been in a cameo in, in Sonic. Mm, I mean a cameo. I think that basically means that's canon, right? I don't know about that. Alright, fine. If you want to be the fucking gatekeeper of the Sonic lore, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is where you're like this is where I make my stand. Uh, Just saying, don't uh, don't misgender Knights as a Sonic character. Oh, my bad. I will not. Very no. rude. Fine. Knights is a Knights character from the two games, Knights, Knights Christmas, and I think the Knights Wii game. So I technically named three games. <laughs> Take it to the halt, Fred Harry. I really don't like this Hagrid sprite at all. <laughs> it's uh, disturbing. Especially after you get used to, like, oh, I tripped. Hagrid, wait for me. I'm a useless piece of shit, and I fell. That means I can't be oh, helped. I think fucking little kid. Wait, does that say? Gringotts vaults are really safe. I mean, I guess that means I can't go in there. Um, I'm trying to remember. One of these doors gives me a card. So guess what your boy is going to be doing as I look for, oh as I look for a card. Ending so many cards in a game that we have not actually gotten to play yet. Also, by the way, we're never going to play because this is how the cards work. See? See, you get to summon them. <laughs> 
Also, look at these awesome names like Snitch Streak and Conjure Snack. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face, rat. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm Harry fucking Potter. Damn right. I like how it's like, we need something for Harry to fight for an extremely long time. Let's make it a bunch of rats. Just endless rats. It is Britain. Oh yeah. Like, even in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, you cannot escape the fact that there are rats everywhere. Okay, <laughs> now I remembered where the cards are. They're right there. Boom. Let's see who... Who's the new wizard Here we now? we get... Oh, it's another good Quidditch wizard. We got Superior Yodel, the only Quidditch referee ever to die during a match. <laughs> Thank God we got that. Imagine fucking dying at Quidditch out of all the things to die during. He's not even a player. No, what the... How does he die? Like, did someone, like, accidentally go aiming for another player and he got whacked in the back of the head? I like to think he just had a heart attack and fell off his broom. Yeah, it's possible. Also, here's another No finger. one saved him, even though I feel like they probably could have. I mean, they're all wizards. Like, <laughs> They're all fucking magic. How does he die? Exactly. Like, there are literal spells in Harry Potter that regrow your bones, and you're going to tell me that this referee, no one could save him? No one was there for this ref? Look at me. Oh, wow, this bat is literally kicking the shit out of me. He's too strong. Harry, you're not powerful enough to take down the Dark Floored Bat. <laughs> Never mind, he did it. I'm also at like 14 SP now. So that means I actually should probably go heal myself because I'm just going to die to a bunch of rats if I keep doing this. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. So while I go back to do that, I'll say goodbye, everyone. We'll see you on another episode of Harry Potter, because Zen has opened the Chamber of Secrets, and now I just... Yeah, really clearly I have uh, created a monster here. You have awoken a beast, which is that I actually really like this game. <laughs> <laughs> I legit could just play it over and over again. <laughs> By the way, I think there's a Gringotts card. No, damn it. My senses were wrong. You fool. I, I, I tried so hard. Talk to me, bearded wizard. Okay. <laughs> goodbye, bearded wizard. And goodbye, everyone. Hi, guys. <laughs>